Filet of soul? Waka waka waka! Fuzzy! Sorry. There aren't any fish here, Kermit. Let's move to another spot. Oh, sure thing, Ralph. I'll start the motor. That spot over there looks good. Gee, the carpet looks much deeper here. Hey, Skeeter, I got one! Wow! I bet it's the biggest fish in the lake! I don't think so, Scooter. Gee! <laughs> Yuck! Why would a fish want to eat one of these? Are you kidding, Piggy? These are great! Ew! Going to eat a worm! No, I didn't! These are cheese twists! No, they're not! These are the cheese twists! <laughs> oh, it's a good thing this is my imagination, or I'd be a one sick weirdo. This is my latest and greatest invention, Beecher. A radar controlled fish locator. All you have to do is turn it on, and it automatically finds the fish. Phew. Sure. Go ahead and try it out. <laughs> Shark! Shark! Oh no! It's worse than a shark! It's... it's... Animal Jaws! Hey guys! Look what time it is! It's time for our favorite cartoon show, Funny Freddy! Funny Freddy. <laughs> oh, that Funny Freddy. <laughs> He's too much. <laughs> He's pretending his TV show is messed up. <laughs> oh, Fuzzy, I think our TV really is messed up. It is? Oh, no. I can't live without Funny Freddy. He's my idol. Maybe it's the antenna. See if you can fix the picture, Peter. <laughs> Hurry up, Skeeter, or we'll miss the show! Nanny would know what to do. What's wrong with the TV, kids? The picture's all funny, Nanny. Can you fix it? Oh, no. I think it's really broken, kids. Oh. I'll call the repairman. He'll come out and fix it. This is horrible! Yeah, we've never missed Funny Freddy before. I know. I could pretend I'm Funny Freddy and you could watch the Funny Fozzie show instead of the Funny Freddy show and I'd be just as funny as Freddy and... Oh. You're right. Nobody's as funny as Freddy. Hey, wait a minute, guys. Fozzie may have something there. I do? Uh, you mean you want me to pretend I'm Funny Freddy so you can watch the funny... Uh, not exactly, Fuzzy. I was thinking we could pretend to make our own TV shows. That's a great idea, Kermit. We can use our cardboard box as a TV. Great idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, but how will we make a screen? I know. There. How's that? Perfect, Skeeter. Hey, these paper cups will make great control knobs. And this will make a suitable antenna. Come on, let's try it out. Gosh, I thought this 
was a black and white cardboard TV. Hi, friends. Chef Rolf here for Doggy Time Dog Food. If you're a dog, and I know I am, you'll love Doggy Time. Yes, sir. It's a real meal in a can. I don't like commercials. Change the channel, Kermit. Mm, gee, how do you change the channel on this TV, Piggy? Simple. You pick it up and... Hey! Hey! Oh. Uh, you're on, Kermit. What? Me? Gee, I'm, I don't know what kind of program to do. Hold it. There's something wrong with the color. It's all green. There's nothing wrong with the color, Gonzo. I am green. Oh, that would explain it. Oh, boy. Me fix, me fix. Animal, no! Good color. Animal! Sorry. Phew. Go on, Hermit. Show us a TV program. Uh, I know. I got one. Good morning. This is Kermit Hopper with the early news. Our big story today, Fuzzy Bear left the water running in the sink again, washing away half the city of Cleveland. However, Fuzzy was nice enough to loan the city his rubber ducky to help in the evacuation efforts. On the drier side, in San Francisco, famous inventor Bunsen Honeydew built the world's first skyscraper made of flour and water. Um, I guess he didn't use enough water. And now for the sports report. Wait a minute. Uh, here's an important bulletin. We now take you live to our pig on the street reporter, Piggy. Hello, Kermit. I'm here on the street with Fozzie Bear. Rumor has it that Fozzie just told his first funny joke. Well, Fozzie, there are millions of viewers out there anxiously waiting to hear you finally say something funny. No problem. I just know your audience is going to love this joke. What do you get when you saw down an apple tree? Give up? You get apple saws. <laughs> get it? Well, sure you have it. Just another one of those wild rumors. Now, back to you, Kermit. Thanks, Piggy. And now it's time for Scooter's Computer Weather Report. Whoa! You're on, Scooter. I am? Oh, uh, here are the current temperatures. Let's see. Uh, 42, 71, and 19 below. This is boring. Get to the good part, Scooter. If there is a good part. Oh, sure there is. The real weather. Let's see. Uh, we have some rain in the northwest. Ah, ugh. Uh, and, uh, uh, and six inches of snow in Wyoming. Ooh. And in Florida. Oh, no. What is it, Scooter? Look, tell us. A hurricane. Help. Help. Hurricane. Stop it. Bad animal. No, bad weather. Beecher, it's time for another commercial. Hello there, potential consumers. I am Bunsen Honeydew, child genius. For the first time on Nursery Wild Television, I'm offering you my latest invention. Come on, Beecher, it's all right. Friends, these are my new foolproof anti-nightmare pajamas. No matter what kind of bad dreams you ever have, these pajamas will protect you. You say you have nightmares about falling out of bed? No sweat. Just pull our patented pajama ripcord. <laughs> or perhaps your problem is scary ghost dreams. <laughs> no problem. Just blast them with the ghost-busting backpack. <laughs> That's right, friends. For only 25 cents, you can have your very own anti-nightmare PJs with my personal satisfaction guarantee that you'll freak like a rock. Wake up, feature. The commercial's over. 
Now, what show do you want to watch next? How about uh, I Love Piggy? Yuck! I'd rather watch Laverne and Skeeter. No way! I know the perfect show! Weirdo Trick! <laughs> oh, brother. Welcome to Outer Space, the final frontier, where we join the voyage of the Starship Second Prize on a mission to explore alien worlds and go where no weirdo has gone before. When will we reach Starbase One, Mr. Weirdo? Logically speaking, Captain Kirkmit, we'll arrive in approximately two hours and 29.1982. Close enough, Mr. Weirdo. Mm. What's wrong, Dr. Dog Bones? There's something screwy with your Vulcan brain, Mr. Weirdo. Maybe your batteries are low. I'll raise them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Doctor. That was exhilarating. Quick, Captain Kirkman. There's something on the screen. <laughs> Not that screen. Bad screen. Oh no, it's a static Klingon spaceship. Red alert! Red alert! Remember, troopers, I don't care what happens to Mr. Weirdo, but we must take handsome Captain Kirkmit prisoner. Yes, photon tomatoes. Oh, no. Next, we'll be blasted with radium relish. What are our chances of defeating the static Klingon vessel, Mr. Weirdo? I'd say approximately one chance in 29,014,930,221.37482196764. By the time he's done with that number, the show will be over. That's close enough. Ganzo, Luke and Han Solo aren't in the show. They aren't? What about Indiana Jones? No. Larry, Moe, and Curly? Uh-uh. Gee. Ha-ha! Their defensive screens are down! A few more photon tomatoes and Captain Kirkmit will be mine. Judy, get us out of here! Accelerate to warp vector nine! I'm doing the best I can, Captain. What's wrong? Uh, I think Scotty put too much warp in the warp vector. There. The warp is off. Our only chance is to board the static Klingon vessel and trick them into surrendering, Captain. Oh, um, right. To the transporter room. Beam us away, Scooty. And be sure you dial the right number this time. I'm sorry, you have reached a disconnected number. I know he dialed the wrong number. Better dial again, Scooty, and this time check the directory. Okay. That's better. Set your phaser to tickle, Mr. Weirdo, and we'll tickle those static Cleons into surrendering. One more photon tomato, and the second prize will be mine. Fire! <laughs> that button, or we'll tickle blast you. And the chances of anyone resisting a tickle blast are precisely 337 point... <clears throat> I mean three. That's all. Three. Thank you. Oh, my. You're even better looking than I imagined. <sighs> it's these ears. Nobody can resist them. What? Then <clears throat> again, some people prefer my nose. Oh, Captain Kirkmit, what do you say we go on a little star trip together? Mm. Uh, mm. Say, anybody want to hear a good space joke? Not nobody. Okay, then I think it's time for another commercial. Commercial! Commercial! <laughs> you can't do a commercial animal. Yeah, you can hardly talk. Me talk, me talk. What could you sell that we'd want to buy anyway? Ah, uh, dirt! What? Dirt fun! Put on face! Better on clothes! <laughs> huh? Me forget! Water? Dirt? Make mud! <laughs> Sticky! Pretty neat. How much does it cost? It's free! 
sees this mess, birth bomb! Oh, jeez. I think we ought to find another sponsor. What do you think? What should we watch now, guys? How about a comedy police show? I could tell jokes and arrest the audience for laughing without a license. <laughs> Forget it, Fozzie. No one would ever laugh at your jokes. Hey, guys, I want my Muppet TV. Huh? I want my Muppet TV. Oh, I get it. Ralph wants to do a music video. That's a terrific idea. Let's get our instruments. Good idea, Kermit. to make. How about Lena the Loser? Or the wide world of weirdo. Those aren't real shows. Rock is going to be on a real TV show. Uh, what show is that, Piggy? The Johnny Carson Show. Huh? <laughs> is right. You can't be on the Johnny Carson Show. It comes on right after your bedtime. Not today, it doesn't. <laughs> Piggy on the Johnny Carson Show. <laughs> Would you welcome Miss Piggy? Oh, thank you, thank you. It's so good to be on your show, Johnny. I don't believe this. Yeah, she did it. <laughs> boyfriends, do you have any boyfriends? Well, um, sort of. Isn't that right, Kermy? What? You don't have to tell the world about it, Piggy. You want, want to do something for us? What? Um, well, actually, I, I thought you'd never ask. Oh, yeah? 
Then I'll just have to sneak on. And next, I'd like to sing. Um, did I say something funny? <gasps> Get off that stage, you... You... <laughs> to hear one of my funny jokes. Fuzzy, don't you dare. You'll embarrass Mr. Carson. But this is my big chance, Piggy. Fuzzy! Oh! <laughs> uh, hi there. My name is Fuzzy Fair. I mean, Fuzzy Bear. Uh, and I'll tell you a joke if you promise not to throw tomatoes at me. Okay? <laughs> Wow, I don't believe it. Johnny Carson is laughing at me. Hey, guys, Johnny Carson laughed at me. I'm funny. I really am. Gee, Mr. Carson did laugh at Fozzie. Yeah, maybe he'd let me play piano on his show. I could do scientific experiments. I could be a stand-up weirdo. Yeah. Johnny. Mr. Carson. Hello. Hi, kids. The TV's fixed. You can watch all your favorite programs now. Uh, gee, thanks, Nanny. Thanks, Nanny. Come on, guys. Keep going. Nanny, another Turn show. Turn the box back Look on. Look another one. Quickly. What on earth are you doing? We're making our own TV shows, Nanny. Yeah, we like our programs better than the real ones. What's on next? Let's watch Happy Dogs. Or what about Candid Computer? Wait, I got it. You are entering another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound. A dimension of blue-nosed baboons. You are entering the weirdo zone. Yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be a great movie. You can be Kermit Skyhopper and I'll be... And I'll be Obi Rolf Kenobi. Animal Vader. too well. I thought maybe I'd try to get a green. Hey, what happened to the sun? Sun going down! <laughs> Cut it out, animal. You're ruining our beach party. Sorry. There, that's better. Piggy, yahoo, where are you? Isn't it terrific, Scooter? Someday I'd like to live in a castle like this. Your castle isn't built right, Skeeter. I designed my castle by computer. An earthquake couldn't knock it down. Earthquake! Animal! Your castle my 
the earthquake-proof scooter, but nothing is animal-proof. Hiya, Kermit. Gosh, Fuzzy, I never knew you were so tall. And I never knew you had such smelly feet, Fuzzy. Why don't you wear shoes? Why should I? I'd still have bare feet. Get it? Bare? Bare feet? Waka, waka, waka! you might like to play with this for a while. Yay! Hey, oh, boy! Wow, well, neat! Yippee, skinny! What is it? It's a video camera and recorder. I rented it to record my tennis game so I could study my swing. Oh! We can make our own movies! How does it work, Annie? It's simple, really. All you do is hold the camera like this and pull the trigger to make it record. And you turn this to keep it in focus. I saw a newsman do it on TV. You've got about an hour to play with it, then I have to return it to the store. So have fun, but be careful with it. I'm going to be a movie star! Hmm. I can see it now. My name up in lights. Starring with Sylvester Stallone, Ricky Schroeder, Scott Bayo. And I can record my comedy routines! And I can do a music video! And I'll be the director! Is this the end you're looking to? Uh, I think it's the other end, Gonzo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just testing. All right, quiet on the set! <laughs> Thanks, animal. That was cool. Shoot me, Gonzo! Me first. I'm older. Only by a minute! Wow, this is great! Out of my way, Skeeter. Hey, Kermit, smile! Mm, how's that, Gonzo? Perfect! Hey, stay in focus. You're fuzzy. No way, Gonzo. I'm not fuzzy. I'm fuzzy. And I got a great joke for you. There was this guy, see? Cut! <laughs> Animal! Yoo-hoo! Over here, Gonzi. Wow. Now that's what I call star material. Hold it right there, Piggy, while I zoom in on you. What big eyes you have, Piggy. Oh, she winked at me. <laughs> it must be love. Love my eye. Get this thing out of my face. Come on, Gonzo. Stop goofing off. We've only got an hour to make our movie. Sorry, Kermit. And I'm going to be the producer. Gee, what do producers do, Piggy? They fire directors! Yeah! Uh. I'm taking over as director, Gonzo. Get up there! You're going to be my camera weirdo. All right! I always wanted to be a camera weirdo. Quiet on the set! Quiet! Lights! Camera! Rolling! Take one! Action? Uh, gee, what am I supposed to do, Piggy? Silly, you're supposed to take the beautiful star into your arms. Great. Uh, where is she? I thought he'd never ask. Oh, Sheik, take more. I'm yours. Oh, wow! Keep it up, Kermit. This is coming out great. Uh, what's my next line, Piggy? Really? Say it! Okay. Come with me to the, uh, Casbah, my little desert piglet. Why, certainly, my absolutely most adorable green sheik. Now, carry me off into the sunset. What? Do it! 
Right. <coughs> what a scene! What a scene! Piggy, I guess I'm not much of a hero. After all, I'm just a frog. Oh, Kermie, you'll always be my hero. My turn, my turn! It's the Fuzzy Bear Show, live! Yeah! And here's the star of our show, that funny bear you've all been waiting for, me! Are you ready for my first jump? Yeah! Great, here it is! Why do firemen wear red suspenders? Give up? To hold their pants up! Waka waka waka! <laughs> Did you hear them, Kermit? They laughed at my joke, and they didn't even throw tomatoes! Uh, Fuzzy, could I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what is it? Um, they're not laughing at your joke, Fuzzy. No? What are they laughing at? Um, that. Gee, maybe if I juggled tomatoes, people would throw jokes. <laughs> I know. Let's do a rock music video. Good idea, Rolf. Let's get our instruments, everybody. Yay! Yeah, let's yeah. go. I'll go get my okay. piano. But I don't like music videos, Gonzi. I want to be a movie star. Ah, uh, uh, a movie star, huh? Well, uh... Good idea! Okay, you guys, ready? Yeah, we're ready! Well, my mama said... Hold it! Turn up all the spotlights, let everybody see! I know what you really want! Me! But, me! But... Me! I'm going far! She's going far! I Yeah, thank you. I want to do another joke. No way, Fuzzy. One bad joke is enough. I want to do some gymnastics. I want to do some computer animation. I still want to be a movie star. Hey, hold it! Hold it! Now, the best way for all of us to get into the act is to pick a movie that has a part for each of us. Yeah. How about Star Wars? Hey, that's a great idea. You can be Kermit Skyhopper, and I'll be... <coughs> Princess Piggy. Oh, I know who I could play. I could play Wubaka the Cookie. Um, that's Chewbacca the Wookie, Fuzzy. That's what I said, Kuchaka the Bookie. I want to be Scooter D2. <coughs> Yeah, and I'll be Obi Rolf Kenobi. Wait a minute, aren't we forgetting someone important? 
sound effects. Fuzzy, who's Irving? I don't know. Who's Oscar? Hey, Nanny's got to take the camera back in a little while. Yeah, we've got to show our movie to her before it's too late. I'll get Nanny. You guys get everything ready. Okay, Piggy. I'll have it hooked up in a sec. Lights out. It sounds pretty exciting, Piggy. I can't wait to see it. My goodness. It looks like you've got your own little theater here. It's a drive-in theater, Nanny. Pull up a car and watch the show. Thank you, Gonzo. But I'll just sit on the couch, okay? Okay. Beep, beep. Hey, wait for me. Hey, Gonzo, what's wrong with your car? Oh, gee, I guess I'm not pretending hard enough. <laughs> How's that? Better. Wait for me! Okay, Scooter, start the show! What's the matter, Animal? What do you want? Popcorn! Popcorn? Why, thank you, Animal. Popcorn! Quiet, Animal! The show's about to begin! What's that? It looks like a test pattern. No, it's Gonzo's nose. Is this the end you're looking to? Uh, I think it's the other end, Gonzo. Shoot me, Gonzo. Me first. I'm older. Only by a minute. This is boring. Fast forward it, Scooter. I want to see me. Oh, wow. Wow. Lucas will let me direct his next movie, Star Weirdos? No way. Okay, okay, okay. 
like to grow up and be a Jedi frog like my father. If only a beautiful princess would send for me so I could leave home and save the universe. Wow! My dreams have come true! A new trash can! Hey, what did he say? I don't know. I could never understand our 2 d too. I need you, Kermit Skyhopper. You're my only hope. Wow, she's beautiful. Well, you're pretty cute yourself, you great green hunk. <laughs> hey, this is great. I don't know. I think I look like a nerd in that silly costume. Who cares, Scooter? The good part is coming up. Return of Skyhopper rescues the princess! Oh boy! Let's watch! You're right, though. I am? Yeah, you do look like a nerd. <laughs> oh, quiet! Here comes my part. And mine, too! Watch! Hang on, you guys. We're about to make the jump to light speed. Here goes! Ouch! The smarts! I don't think you have to jump quite so high to get to light speed, Kermit. Can I use the Force, Obi Ralph? Not yet, Kermit Skyhopper. It's too soon. Oh my gosh! Look! The Death Star! No, it's worse than that. It's the Death Tomato! Yes. Out to destroy all laughter in the galaxy. Gee, one joke and we're all gunners! The danger doesn't matter. We've got to save Princess Piggy. Okay, where's the princess? Kermit Skyhopper, help! Release her, Animal Vader, or I'll zunk you with my lightsaber. I'll give you a this. And a this. And a this. I knew I should have taken lightsaber lessons instead of tennis lessons. Can I use the force now, Obi Ralph? Not yet, Kermit Skyhopper. Me win! Me win! Oh no! The universe is doomed! If only Han Solo would come at the last minute and save us! doesn't like any jokes, remember? What do we do? Now, Kermit, now! Now what, Obi Ralph? The Force! Use the Force! Oh, right. 
um, um, Just wonderful. You really think so, Nanny? I certainly do. Gosh, maybe we should make a real movie. And go to Hollywood and be famous. Well, perhaps. I could direct it. And I could be a movie star. Sure you could, but let's go now. Yeah, let's go now. Take us to Hollywood, Nanny. Take it easy, kids. Take it easy. There'll be plenty of time for all of your dreams to come true. Did you hear that? Our dreams are going to come true. When we grow up, we might even have our own television show. That's right. As long as you keep dreaming them, they'll all come true. Well, what are we waiting for? Tummy oh. weird or not tummy oh. weird? That is the question. Kermio, oh, Kermio, wherefore art thou, Kermio? I'm right here, Piggy. You want to hear a great joke? Cop! <laughs> Bye-bye! Bye-bye! 